In the beginning, the baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. Listen carefully, listen to the words. God chose Mary to be the mother of God and the word was born a wordless child. When the baby looked up into the face of the mother Mary, he already saw the cross. When he looked into the face of the father Joseph, the cross was there too. The mother Mary and the father Joseph held the baby very close. They kept the baby warm. They gave the baby everything the baby needed to grow and it began to grow. The baby grew and became a boy. When he was about 12 years old, he went with the mother Mary and the father Joseph and with many other people from their village of Nazareth to the great city of Jerusalem to keep one of the high holy days. When the celebration was over, the people from Nazareth went out through the great high gate and started on the road toward home. Suddenly, Mary and Joseph discovered that Jesus was not there. They thought he had been playing with the other children from their village as they walked together. They hurried back into the great city of Jerusalem to find him. Mary and Joseph looked in the dark and narrow streets. They looked in the marketplace where they had bought their food. They looked where they had spent the night. They looked everywhere. Finally, they even looked in the temple and there he was. He was talking to the rabbis the priests. When he spoke, they listened, because he knew so much. And when they spoke, he listened, because he wanted to learn more. Mary and Joseph then asked Jesus the question all parents asked their children. The question you can never answer. Why did you do this? And Jesus said something very strange. He said, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? Mary and Joseph did not understand. Their house was in Nazareth, where Joseph's carpenter shop was. They did not understand, but they did not forget. Jesus grew and became a man. When he was about 30 years old, he went to the River Jordan where his cousin John was baptizing people. Do you see John? He was a wild man. Jesus waded into the river until he was face to face with John. He said, baptize me. John looked at Jesus as if for the first time. Now he saw who he really was. How can I baptize you? You are the Messiah, the one we have been waiting for. You must baptize me. No. It is written that you will come before me and prepare the way. Baptize me. Jesus went down into the darkness and the chaos of the water. When John lifted him back up into the light, there were people there who said they saw a dove come down from heaven and come close to him. There were also people there that day who heard a voice. The voice said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went on across the river Jordan into the desert. He stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights to learn more about who he was and what his work was going to be. Jesus went into the desert to discover more about who he was and what his work was going to be. 
and he was there for 40 days and 40 nights with very little to eat or drink. One day, he heard a voice. It said, why don't you turn one of these stones into bread to have something to eat? Jesus said, no. To be a real human being, we need more than just bread to eat. Suddenly, it was as if Jesus were on top of the great temple in Jerusalem. The voice came back. If you are really the Son of God, why don't you jump and see if God sends the angels to catch you before you hit the stones? Jesus said, no, we do not need to test God. Then it was as if Jesus could see all the kingdoms of the world. The voice came back again. If you will follow me, I will make you king over all of these kingdoms. Jesus said, no, I am to be a king, but not that kind of king. Then the voice went away. Jesus went back across the Jordan and began to do his work. But what was his work? His work was to come close to people, especially the people no one else wanted to come close to. See? He has come close to this blind man. He is so close that he has touched the blind man's eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they changed. They could see things they could never see before. They could do things they could never do before. They became well. Jesus also told parables. Finally, he knew that he had to become a parable, so he turned toward Jerusalem for the last time. At the time of the Passover, when the city was full of people from many different lands, they thought Jesus was coming to be a king, but they weren't paying attention. He wasn't riding on a white horse when he came into the city. He wasn't being carried by soldiers. He was riding on a donkey, and it wasn't even his. He had borrowed it. Still, that Sunday, when Jesus came into Jerusalem, people waved palm branches, which were a sign of kings. On Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Jesus went into the temple to teach. Every night he went back to the Mount of Olives with the Twelve. The people watched him and whispered that the Mount of Olives was where angels were supposed to come down to make an army to drive away the Roman soldiers. One day, when Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, Do you see that woman? See, she is putting a coin in the offering. It's not making a sound. It's just one small coin. But that woman is giving everything she has. Now look, here comes a rich man. He has so much money. He has a friend to help him carry it. And as he puts his money in the offering, it makes a loud clanging and banging. Jesus said, who do you think Gave some said the woman who gave everything, and some said the rich man. After that, the temple guard said, On Thursday, we will take him. But on Thursday, they couldn't find him. Jesus and his friends went through the streets and up some stairs to an upper room. There, they shared the Passover meal together. After they had everything they wanted to eat, Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it and he said something like, whenever you break the bread like this and share it, I will be there. He also took a cup of wine, gave thanks to God for it and said, 
Whenever you share a cup of wine like this, I will be there. What was he talking about? He was always saying things like that. How could they know? Still, they did not forget. And later, they would understand. Suddenly, Judas got up and left. The rest sang a hymn and then went to the Garden of Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives. Jesus wanted to pray. When he finished, he joined the twelve, but Judas came out of the dark and greeted him. This was a signal for the temple guards to take him. They too came out of the shadows and took Jesus away with them into the night. The twelve disappeared into the darkness as well. The night was a confusing one. The next day, Jesus was taken outside the walls of the city and crucified. That afternoon, Jesus died. The sky grew dark. Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A great stone was rolled into the opening of the cave to close it like a door. Saturday was so quiet you could almost hear the earth breathing. I wonder what part of this story you like best. I wonder what part of the story is the most important. I wonder where you are in this story. What part of the story is about you? I wonder if there is any part of the story we can leave out and still have all the story we need.